Hello, I'm Reza Rad and I want to share with you what you experience in the Power BI architecture course that I'm offering in few cities around the world. Uh, the link to that is down below. So this Power BI course is basically developed for those who want to build a Power BI solution. Um, no matter what stage of building the Power BI solution you are, uh, you might be a Power BI data analyst building uh, a Power BI report, or you might be the BI manager deciding about how to adopt Power BI in your organization, or you might be the data architect thinking about how to uh, put together different components and tools and services together to build a BI solution. No matter what stage you are at that, Power BI architecture is something uh, I found based on my experience really necessary for a lot of um, people working with Power BI to understand. There are a lot of uh, different topics under the Power BI architecture, which is not usually covered in a normal um, dashboard in a day or Power BI development uh, courses. In Power BI development courses, everything is related to how to build Power BI reports, build relationships, build calculations, build the data model, build the visuals, but it's nothing about how to put together the overall architecture. So this is a two days course. Um, it is in person. Uh, you can find the links to different cities that I'm um, presenting it. Um, the catering is provided, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, it's full of examples. Now you can bring your own laptop and try on those examples with me when I'm doing the course, the course or you can just watch it and then later on um, go and practice it at home. As an attendee of this course, you will get access to the video recorded version of this, which is uh, complimentary available for you forever to watch in our online platform. Uh, and you also get a um, copy of the handbook uh, that we have, a really big handbook, which you can also take notes on that handbook as well. Um, mainly that handbook is built from the Power BI book that I have written. So this is the, um, the earlier version of that Power BI book, book that I first published in 2018. A lot has changed since then. So I actually wrote the second edition of this which you can um, you know, probably get in a couple of months. By the time that you watch this video, it might be already in the market. As an attendee of this course, you also get a um, free ebook version of that. And that is much thicker than what you see in this book right now. So it is going to be a really big uh, book for Power BI architecture. Uh, now, uh, what is included in that architecture? So as a architecture of a solution, you need to know about all the components, but not in very deep level. That is what this course about. We have uh, three main areas, a development architecture, which we talk about all development aspects of Power BI, but not really developing a Power BI solution. We'll talk, for example, about what different types of connections in Power BI are, uh, what is import data, what is live connection, what is direct query, even the most new uh, type, which is direct lake type of connection, how you can choose the, the type of connection you want, how composite model works with the rest of these relationship, uh, these, these connection types. We'll talk about um, shared data sets versus data mart versus data flow, how you can use these in a Power BI architecture in a way that you can have a multi-layered implementation. We'll talk about uh, different types of objects in Power BI environments, such as the uh, paginated reports, the Power BI template. We'll talk about incremental refresh, aggregated tables, hybrid tables, how these all together helps to uh, achieve uh, results in scenarios that you are dealing with big data. And each of these usually comes with some of the examples as well. Then we'll talk about deployment architecture um, in the Power BI service, also the version of Power BI which uh, works on premises, Power BI report server. We'll talk about gateways. The Power BI licensing would be one of the interesting subjects we'll talk about. And usually it's a big discussion uh, through the course. Uh, we'll talk about premium, premium per user, and even some of the new licensing options in Microsoft Fabric, how that would work, uh, the settings and configuration in the Power BI service, the workspace setup, the roles, security in the workspace, deployment pipelines and XML endpoint, 
tools that you can use to help with the administration. Then we'll talk about the security and sharing part of the architecture. In Power BI, there are more than seven different types of sharing that you can use and share the Power BI content with others. We'll talk about each of these, individual sharing, sharing through workspaces, Power BI apps, comparison between all of these sharing methods. We'll talk about security options such as role level security, object level security, column level security. And the course is pretty much um, included all of these, but we also added an additional um, appendix to that, or let's say additional module to that, which is about Microsoft Fabric with this new Microsoft Fabric, what it is, how this can impact the overall Power BI architecture. It is a fully interactive course. We'll have a lot of discussion points. We'll talk about different scenarios. We'll talk about how to overcome a challenge in those scenarios. And by finishing this course, at the time of finishing this course, you should be able to, based on the requirement given, based on the understanding of the organization culture and all of the other elements around the implementation of Power BI, you should be able to design a powerful architecture that helps the successful adoption of Power BI in your organization or the organization of client company that you are building that Power BI solution for.